Hey guys, I was about to start taking down the Christmas decorations and I thought, well darn, I ain't even showed in the kitchen yet. But anyway, here it is. Now these little wreaths I made from um, the nine inch uh, wreath forms at the Dollar Tree and they're one dollar garland. So each wreath cost me two dollars. And um, up on my shelf, I just took my clock down and put this uh, Simplify Christmas Celebrate Christ um, little wood um, sign that I got at Hobby Lobby last year when they put everything for 75% off. And then those of you who have been with me for a while will remember uh, this little project from uh, Christmas or Thriftmas in July, this garland that I made. And then up here, I just put a uh, put a wreath around Foghorn's neck. And then there's the uh, wreath I put over the pantry door or the linen closet door. No, it's not a linen closet. It's where I keep my brooms. Lordy mercy. And then now I'll show you the um, hutch. Okay, starting up here on the top at the hutch is a um, flexible flyer sled I got on a uh, yard sale trip I think it was two years ago and um, I got that for five dollars and then that's just a um, I just put plain wreaths and uh, trees up there just to I don't know add a little color but I kind of liked it up there this year and then inside my hutch is a combination of things that I have found this summer, just thrifting at the world's longest yard sale and estate sales here. And about, I guess about 10% of it is some friend mail things too. So I'll just go through here and kind of show y'all. Um, this is an old vintage candle. And that's one of my jewelry trees I make. Um, scotch hangers and my little Noel that was a yard sale find. Um, I think they're... Those they made in Taiwan. And then um, I love my little uh, vintage hanger boxes. Um, the white one was from Tarnished Treasures. And this one with the little um, tree branch on it was from Sally Hasty. And then the little miniature boxes back there of the um, Christmas ornaments. And then this little shiny bright was from uh, Rachel at Superior Girl Vintage. And then that shiny bright box was a purchase I made for, um, I believe it was... $18 and it was 50% off at an antique mall and I got it for nine and then um these are just, oh my Fenton green glass tree with a little teddy bear in it that was an estate sale fine it was five dollars and my old ironstone pitcher back there which is with a bottle brush tree in it and these little made in Japan little angels and I just put it on um a uh, ribbon roll and then these little rocking chairs my daddy made years ago for my dollhouse and I just wanted to show y'all this look at this Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year now I got this out of an ephemera uh, box but look at here Christmas 1892 my dear parents okay the beautiful face of Christmas has come, and I hasten to greet you with a little letter. I thought you would be far more pleased with this letter than anything you have received this morning. And I thank you very much for the attention of our part to our to one during the feast of far. The girls in any class, the girls in my class made a 
novella to the infant Jesus. I thought I would make one also. I remember you all and asked the infant Jesus to give you all the grace of our creed. Hmm. I will close now wishing you and all of my brothers and sisters a Merry Christmas and all the blessings of the new year. Your loving daughter, Maggie. And, I mean, it's just embossed and got that 1892. That means this letter is 127 years old. And, um, I'm going to get some, uh, archival paper to, I mean, uh, sleeves to keep that in. And then back here, okay, now these little placards you see here are new old stock that I got from... I went to an ephemera sale. That's where I got the letter I just read to you. And there was a lot of advertising things and store displays and stuff like that. And these little uh, placards here, or signs, discount toy price signs, were in a, um, just a paper binding around them. I think there were 12 of them. And they just go in little stands and say a doctor kit, 68 cents, Play-Doh. Look how they spell Play-Doh. That one says helicopter, pull toys, ironing board. This one says paint by numbers and doll clothes. And they were having a 68 cent sale, I guess, because most of this is 68 cents. But anyway, I thought those were cute. And I got that little uh, Santa's Busy Day. I'll have to open that up and show it to you. It's like a pop-out movable book. And um, this is a, I don't think I ever showed y'all this. This little um, thing right there is a uh, tea, a personal tea caddy from Railroad. That's Railroad Silver. And it's got the Railroad name and everything on there. But, Lord, if I try to get this down, I won't never do it. And um, this little thing right there is from Rachel at Superior Girl Vintage. And then I got this at the thrift store, believe it or not, for 99 cents. And I just put that bottle brush tray and the deer in there. And I got this this summer. I can't remember if that was the World's Longest Yard Sale, a thrift store, or what. But anyway, I got that. And then this little True Value Junior thing I put in there because I thought it was cute. And it just looked like Christmas, a toy. And then um, that Chili's box uh, I got on the World's Longest Yard Sale and put those things on there. And then I believe Sally... I believe this was in one of Sally's packages to me. And um, this little Coats and Clarks box. And the little elf. Made in Japan. And then Sally also sent me the bottle brush tree. And that little snow bunny girl. That's what I call her, the ski bunny. And those two little vintage rolls of ribbon. And she also sent this box of... Um, Angel Chime Candles, and these little booties, and these old vintage, oh, I love these. These old vintage, um, yellowed, uh, candy canes with pipe cleaners. And, uh, that little elf cup I got at a yard sale. And I've just put a bottle brush tree and an old, angry-looking Santa elf on there. And Nicole North Garden sent me that beautiful picture of, um, Mary and Jesus, and um, I got this at the thrift store as well, that old tacky candle holder thing, uh, kerosene lamp, and I got this little beauty at an estate sale, and she just says Christmas Angel, and I can't, I don't know what her tag had on it, her label, it's already off, but um, I got that, uh, now my candle on the world's longest yard sale. And then Carol's for Christmas was a gift and a friend mail from Tarnished Treasures. And um, Nicole North Garden sent me the little carolers. And that's why I set this little area up as caroling. And Tarnished Treasures also sent me this little baby playing a guitar. And Nicole sent me those as well. And these are department... Um, 56 carolers and I just put them in there with it 
and then um that little um vase just has some of the old ornaments in there the pine cones are some of my favorites and then tarnished treasures also sent me that vintage stocking back there which i love and then rachel superior girl vintage also sent me that um precious little um vintage christmas card and then these little noels were um I purchased those on the world's longest yard sale and they are 19 50 60 70 85 86 87 1987 I just thought they were cute and then those vintage Christmas bells were um, from an estate sale and I paid four dollars for those and they do work and I got these on the Wells Longest Shard sale. I think y'all remember seeing those. They're just little angel ornaments from Italy. And I got that stocking on the Wells Longest Shard sale as well. And this musical bell. And then this little vase down here, I just have crammed full of my, uh, I guess shiny bright vintage ornaments indents and things I found this year I just put them all in there the ones I found this summer but look how big this one is I think it's my favorite and those are the uh, some of the little um, candle reflectors that tarnished treasure sent me and I believe she said that those were over a hundred years old and these little candles I got on the world's on a shard sale from the Vermont Candle Company. And that little mug and that little elf right there were bought from the same estate sale this year. And this Merry Christmas was bought at that same estate sale. That little card right there is from my sweet friend, Abby. And then back in the back are some of my Christmas albums that I collect. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Walt Disney's Babes in Toyland, and if I can get him back there, Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing it. And I'm sorry I didn't get it done earlier. And I just realized as soon as I started to take it down and get the toad out to pack it up, I said, Lordy mercy, I ain't even showed it to him yet. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Hope y'all had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love y'all. Bye-bye.